Hi, welcome to my channel. In my previous video, I have shown you how to configure mail submission port 587 with SSL authentication and TLS encryption. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure SMTPS or secure SMTP, which is also used for clients mail submission with authentication and encryption. SMTPS main difference with the mail submission port is the SSL enforcement. We cannot use SMTPS without SSL. It is a mandatory requirement. On mail submission port, SSL or TLS was optional. In 465 connection, SSL encryption is started automatically before any SMTP level communication. This video is an add-on with the previous one. I'm going to use the same server environment like the previous one. So I'm not going to install and configure the SSL certificate and SSL packages in this session. If you want to see how to configure SSL and create the SSL certificates, please watch my previous video. Here we will directly go to the SMTPS configuration. So let's configure the server. Here we are logged into the system. So let's go to the master.cf. So in our previous video, we have configured the submission port. So let it be like this. Let it running with this configuration. If we check the ports, we can see that 587 port is running and there is no 465 port. So SMTPS is not enabled. So let's open SMTPS. We can run submission port and SMTPS both together for the client's connectivity without any problem. They can coexist. We can use any port, either submission 587 or 465 to connect to the server. And both submission and SMTPS will provide SSL authentication and TLS encryption. So let's open the SMTPS port. And we need the syslog prefix. TLS wrapper mode. Okay. We will configure the SSL. So now remove this line. We don't need this MUA configuration because these are not configured on the postfix. So we need permit SSL line. And the last one is not necessary. Now just copy the SASL entries from the submission context to the SMTPS context. So they will work like same. And the TLS options we can copy. So syslog name, this is for the syslog and SASL options, these are for the SSL authentication. We already know and tested everything on the previous video. And this is for the SMTP recipient restriction. This allows only the SSL authenticated uh, users and rejects rest of the users. These are the TLS and SSL configurations 
here only one line is new that is smtpd tls wrapper mode equal to yes this is for the old uh, mail client like outlook express they like to see the tls implementation in wrapper mode so this line is for the backward compatible or old uh, mail clients this is the tls key this is the certificate log levels cache timeout i have described everything on the previous video so please uh, watch the previous video to learn more about these tls settings and ssl settings so we are using the same configuration we have installed the ssl and we have generated the ssl certificate so we are using the same ssl credentials and ssl certificate to test and configure the smtps or secure smtp so let's save it now restart postfix hotel minus f var log mail log now on the client before that let's check the ports that smtps is enabled here you can see that 465 is enabled Okay. Now let's open the client configuration, more settings, outgoing server require authentication. This is must. This is for the SSL authentication. And on the outgoing server, we need to put here 465 with SSL. So now if we check test account settings, yes, it can send mail. Here if you see the anonymous TLS connection established and SSL method login and SSL username from Munna to Munna delivered to mail DR. So we did it again. Same message, same log. So it's working just fine. So if we hit send and receive, we should get two mail. Here you can see that our two Microsoft Outlook test mail arrives. So we have successfully tested the SMTPS 465 port with SSL authentication and SSL encryption. So thank you for being with me and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.